So I'd like to pass on to, uh, to Kamal Abouaita, co-founder and president of the Egyptian Federation of Independent Unions. أنا بشكركم على هذه الدعوة الأول وسعيد جدا إن أتواجد مع إخوة لنا ورفاق لنا في نفس الهم ونفس المصير الواحد. I would like to thank thank you all for the invitation to be here today and I am very happy um, because I feel that we are in we are taking part in the same in the same struggle we're going in the same the same direction together. وعايز اهني هون وايمن بانتصارهم وعودتهم تاني بعد الفصل. كنت فاكر ان بلادنا بس اللي فيها فصل ومحاربه للنقابيين انما واضح ان اعدائنا في العالم كله بيستخدموا ذات الاساليب. And I'd like to congratulate Owen and Eamon on their reinstatement of the, the winning the battle over their, um, uh, their sackings. I thought that it was only in Egypt that we had this way of victimization of, of trade unionists, but now I find that actually all over the world, people are facing, trade unionists face the same pressure from the, for, for, from the boss. So congratulations to them on their, uh, on their stand and winning their struggle. Uh, المظاهرات المصرية كانت ضد الحرب كانت بالألاف فقط مش بالملايين زي ما كان بيحصل عندكم فبيسألني أحد زملائكم العدد لي قليل فأنا قلت له أنتوا عندكم بتطلع بتشارك في إضراب أو تشارك في مظاهرة ممكن تبقى بدي معاد بعد المظاهرة بخمس دقايق تقابل صاحبتك أو خطيبتك إحنا عندنا ممكن تشارك في الإضراب وما تضمنش أصلا إنك تعيش بعدي وإذا عشت ما تضمنش إنك تبقى حر مش في السجن، ولو ضمنت إنك مش في السجن ما تضمنش إيدك ولا رجليك ولا عينيك مفقوعة بعد الإضراب. Um, before, the, before the revolution took place, I um, was, talking to a, was talking to a colleague about the anti war demonstrations. When we had anti war demonstrations, they uh, only used to get thousands of people, not millions like you had in, in this country. And um, somebody once asked me, why is the number so, so little? And I said that, really, um, when, you go on a when you go on a demonstration and, and you're, just, you know, you're, there, you're there in the streets or you take part in a strike, you're just happy, really, that you haven't been put in prison or that your arms and legs haven't been, haven't been, broken, haven't been broken by the police. And as you said, until the end of the day or the end of the day, until the end of the day, I mean, in terms of the Elena, I also said until the end of the day of the freedom of and so you can say there was only a very minimal level at which we could express ourselves, and this went. This is a, over over many years. We had absolutely minimal levels at which we could uh, we could express on our, our, our political opinions. إحنا يعني عبر أربعين سنة من الأداءات المتفرقة إضرابات هنا وهناك. We had 40 years in which we did have strikes going on. They were separated from each other. يعني يمكن أكبر عمل أفتكر يعني وتفتكروا كان 18 و 19 يناير سنة 77 في مصر في موقع نظام سعيد. Perhaps the the biggest explosion of strikes and protests was in 77 in Egypt, the 18th and 19th of January. وقبلها وبعدها والحد قبل قبل قيام الثورة ما but between then and the revolution, really, there wasn't very much resistance to the regime. And even the right to strike, which has been supposedly granted to us uh, now, it hasn't actually been. It's an, it's some, this is something that we've implemented ourselves on the ground, but it's not something that's. الإضرابات المتفرقة آلاف الإضرابات زي ما تعرفوا قبل الثورة كانت يقوم إضراب فيتم التعامل معها سواء بالقمع أو بالاستجابة ببعض المطالب البسيطة ويخلدوه. What used to happen is you'd have thousands of these strikes would take taking place, but they were separated from from each other, and people would raise very simple and basic demands, and then they would face repression from the from the police, and the strike would go down. لما جمعت الروافد الصغيرة ديت. عملت شقت بقى النهر الكبير او البركان الكبير. But what we didn't realize was that these small streams, separate streams, were actually 
coming coming into a, a big river of struggle. في محطات مهمة جدا في تاريخ النضال في مصر يمكن ما حد ما حد يعرف. There are a number of important stages in the struggle that have taken place that maybe people don't know about. في سنة 97 كانوا بينفذوا قانون جائر في الإصلاح الزراعي وبيرجعوا كل القطاعين واستشهد 44 فلاح واتسجن آلاف الفلاحين وتعلق آلاف الفلاحين على الشجر اللي اتبرم على تسليم الأراضي. One of the one of the key moments in this in 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 the road to the revolution was in 1997 when the regime brought out a um, it brought in a new a law uh, around agricultural um, uh, around agricultural land ownership, um, which was resisted by peasants because it involved them being thrown off their their land by the big landowners. And 44 peasant farmers were killed, and thousands were uh, and thousands were imprisoned. من برضو من المحطات المهمة. إضراب لأنسى إضراب النقل العام هي النقل العام في مصر في الثمانينات. There was also previous to that one of the big um, uh, sort of way uh, way posts on the struggle was the the strike by um, the transport workers in in Egypt in the 19, in 1980s. كنا بنقول بنقول إضراب يا إضراب النقل العام إضرابكم خطوة قدام خطوة قدام للوطن كله we had a slogan saying the um, the workers of the, the public transport workers if they if they take a strike if they make a strike then it's a step forward for the whole the workers movement the whole of the country. وإضراب السكة الحديد لما توقفت القطارات وبعصف إحنا عندنا أضرب سفارة مش عارف عندكم بيشتغل إزاي سفارات الدوت سفارات القطارات وكانت إنذار بالإضراب و وفي علامة مميزة دون انتزعوا um, the rail workers also went on strike in the 1980s, and they cut the rail. They they blocked the railway lines, and they uh, stopped the train, stopped the movement of the trains, and they actually defended the right to strike in the in the courts. عرّم القانون المحلي القانون الوطني بتاعنا كان بيجرم الإضراب، إنما المحامين الوطنيين استندوا لتوقيع مصر على اتفاقات الدولة لتوبي حق الإضراب، والأول مرة يستند القاضي الوطني. إلى اتفاقية دولية بالمخالفة لل لل للقانون الوطني. What oh, what happened in terms of the um, the right to the right to strike was that the Egypt signed up to international agreements protecting the right to strike, even though this um, was actually against the local. It, it was actually a better than what was in the local laws, and so lawyers took up this case and and forced them to change the uh, the local legal the the system in in Egypt. نضال العمال والقوى المناهضة للاستغلال والاحتكار ما توقفش على الإطلاق بس كان يعني بيتعصر قليلا متفرق محتاج لتجميع ومحتاج لنظم ده ده توفر مؤخرا. So we had this ongoing struggle of, of, uh, across the years which never stopped but it was divided it was it wasn't unite, a united struggle it needed to come together. يعني عبر خمس سنوات قبل الثورة ما فيش فئة في الوطن ما أضربتش من أول القضاء for the five years before the revolution, there wasn't a single section of the, uh, the, the country where people didn't go on strike, starting even with the judges. And the, and the, stru the strikes that won, people learned a great lesson from them. They could see the, they could see the results. مش كفاية إن أنا أوعي الناس الوعي الثوري طبعا مطلوب كلنا نقوم بيه وأبدا الناس لكن مش كفاية الوعي الثوري لابد من وجود نماذج تشجع الناس يفهموا إن معركة ممكن ينتصروا في معركتهم المسألة مش مش مجرد توعية لا لازم يبقى قدامهم نماذج على الأرض تتحقق فيحاولوا يقلدوها يفهموا إن نظامهم ده ممكن يحقق انتصارات it's not. It's not enough just to have a kind of general revolutionary consciousness. Consciousness. People have to have a concrete model of struggle to follow, of lessons that they can they can draw from, um, you know, in terms of in terms of leading other people into in, into struggle and making concrete gains. إضراب في إضرابات بعينها حققت نجاحات. أنا شايف الناس في الصورة كانت تقريبا ماشية على خطة. المواقع اللي أضربت وانتصرت. 
<coughs> I can I can see from some of the strikes that took the strikes that took place um, before the revolution that people during the revolution people were um, following on in the same in, in the same same direction they were building from the um, from from what had been achieved in the in the strikes. من أول تغلب الأسلوب السلمي في ال في ال في الحركة وصولا بتنظيف مكان الإضراب بعد إنهاء الإضراب. As a really concrete level, um, in the in, in the Tahrir Square, people cleaned up after the um, uh, during the during during the occupation of Tahrir Square, and we used to do that in the strikes. People would go have a have a sit in, and they would clean. They would make sure to clean this up afterwards, um, as a kind of mark of as a kind of mark of respect. وقلت لكم مثل أو أقول لكم مثل عامل في إضراب المحلة صور وردة في فناء المصنع في بداية الإضراب وبعد الإضراب صورها هي هي الوردة ما حدش مد إيده عليها اللي بيتهموا العمال بالتخريب وإنهم كذا والفوضى وفي جورنال يميني زين جار سيدي بيقول إيه لو تعرف الوردة هي الوردة قبل الإضراب هي الوردة بعد الإضراب they join the strike by Mahalla workers in the textile factory in Mahalla um, one of the workers took a photograph that showed there was a flower growing in the middle of the, of the courtyard and he took a photo of it before and at the beginning of the strike and after the strike as a way of showing although workers were being accused of destroying things and sabotaging things and wrecking the place that the flower was still there and nobody had touched it from the beginning to the end and he th- I was showing him the, um, uh, the headline on the evening standard today and explaining that uh, we had the trade unionists are being attacked by the right wing press. They're saying this is the same in Egypt that the right wing newspapers were accusing strikers of, of sabotage and um, destroying things, and that that was uh, people wanted to show that that wasn't the case. في إضراب الضريبة العقارية بعد ما الناس ما خدوا حقهم وده كان إضراب أنا بعتبره محاكاة ل للصورة لأنه تم في الشارع مش في مصنع ولا في مكر ولا في مكتب في الشارع. وبنفس الاليات بالضبط وقريب حتى من ميدان التحرير جنب مجلس الشعب والشورى ومجلس الوزراء. Um, when it comes to our own strike, the tax collector strike, uh, which took place in 2007, um, that I think really in a lot of ways this was a, a kind of model for the revolution. It took place, one of the important things we did which was new was we had our big sit-in in the street and not in, not in the workplace. Um, so we we and we were right around the corner from Tahrir Square. We were in front of the uh, near the near the, uh, the, the um, near the Ministry of Finance uh, buildings and the Tax Authority buildings, which is just a few streets from from Tahrir Square. وكان المضربين ساعتها يبطلوا يهتفوا ويزعوا عشان تلاميذ المدارس اللي بيجروا في المنطقة ما ما يعرفوا يزعوا. And we even we knew that it was a residential area and there were schools about, so we kept our chanting between certain hours. We wouldn't do it late at night so that we would disturb the children who were who were uh, preparing for uh, studying. وبعد انتصار الاضراب وتحقيق مطالبهم بالكامل كنسوا الشارع وزعوا بقايا الاعاشه اللي عند اللي معاهم على فقراء الحي طلعوا حيوا اهل المنطقه سكان العمارات اللي ازعجناهم. طول الفترة الاعتصام والاضراب ومش كده وبس وفي الذكرى السنوية من كل سنة بنروح نخبط عليهم وندي كل شقة وردة. When the strike had, uh, when we won our, our demands in the strike, uh, we we had to, because people were cooking food in the street and so on for the strikers who were, who were staying there. So we distributed food to all the poor people in the area and uh, we went round to talk to the people in, in, in the area to say, you know, we we're sorry that we uh, took over your street and so on. And, and, and we actually still have a relationship with the people there. Every year on the, on the anniversary, we'd go back and give flowers to the people in the, um, in, in the buildings round about where we had our, where we had our sit-in. الحاكم uh, 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 في بلادنا وده يعني الـ الـ الاضرابات اللي كسرت الهيبه بتاع الحكم والحاكم الفرعون شجعت الناس وبالذات الحاكم الصامت شجعت الناس انها تحاكي وتقلد اللي بيعمله الناس في في ده. The strikes um, they they gave people confidence before the rev- before the revolution because they they broke the sense that this was a, a a pharaoh, somebody you couldn't you couldn't touch. Um, but the strikes actually broke that, so uh, broke down that sense that sense that people couldn't do anything. They gave people confidence to fight. <laughs>